Is your mutt team looking sorry? Don't trip, I got you covered. Go to my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable coins out there. And don't forget to use code Juju to get an extra 5% off at checkout. Link will be in the description. Yo, what's going on, y'all? And welcome back to another one. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I would greatly appreciate if you could smack that sub button for me. Takes about half a second, really helps me out, helps me get pushed out to more people. But as y'all probably know, EA announced today that we got a new promo coming tomorrow, Team Standouts. It's looking really dope, man. So everyone's gonna be at 89 and everyone's getting a power up too. So everyone's gonna be a 90, get those tier three abilities. It's gonna be super dope and help out a lot of theme teams. So we're gonna go over the three that they confirmed and then my predictions for the rest of the team. Starting off here with DK Metcalf. Looks like a goon, 92 speed, 92 jump, 84 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 88 spec, solid route running to 86, 83, 86. Definitely is gonna be a goon on your Seahawk theme teams. He'll be able to get up to like 97 speed. So really nice there. But next up, we got Elvin Kamara. He's rocking 88 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 85 carry, 77 catch, 86 catch and or change of direction, my bad. 83 truck and an 87 break tackle. Solid. I mean, he's not even gonna start on your Saint theme teams because y'all got Reggie Bush kind of an l honestly they kind of did them bogus but then last up we got josh allen i know my homie jock is so hyped for this and this card man they definitely did him justice 82 speed 93 throw power which is nuts because powered up 94 gonna be come to like damn near 99 86 short 84 mid 83 deep 83 under pressure and 89 on the run this will be a for sure budget beast quarterback. He won't be able to get escape artists because of his archetype, but just a really nice card right there. I'm sure you Josh Allen, you Bills fans, you're super hyped. Even if you're not, man, just if you got like a no money spent team, this is definitely a budget beast. But then for my predictions, what I'm going to be doing is just going through the team diamonds. You know, it'd be a lot easier to show all the teams. So starting off with the Bears, it was already confirmed that they're getting Kyle Fuller. There was a little screenshot leaked and they showed a few. The Bengals are getting William Jackson. Honestly, I'm really disappointed they didn't go with Joe Burrow here. I mean, we're like almost two months into the game. He still doesn't have an upgrade. He's been balling. Bills, obviously Josh Allen. That's already, obviously we just went over the stats. Broncos is confirmed to be Justin Simmons. Should be a really nice card, but I mean, you already got B-Dog, so I don't know. Maybe move him to strong safety, I guess or one of them at least. And then my prediction for the Browns is gonna be Nick Chubb. I feel like it just has to be, man. He's been balling out this year, or Kareem Hunt, honestly, either one of the running backs. But yeah, that run game's been nuts. Definitely one of them, gotta get an upgrade. Then for the Buccaneers, I'm gonna go with Devin White. That's, he only has, I think, his gold card right now. He's had a really good year. And I mean, they could go with Mike Evans, maybe even Chris Godwin, but I'm gonna say they go with Devin White for the Bucks, so yeah and then the Cardinals I'm predicting Kyler Murray honestly you could go with someone like Buda Baker because Kyler did get a promo in the super or a card in the superstar promo but I don't know I, th I still think it's going to be Kyler he's had a really nice year and it would just people love Kyler he's fast he'd probably he'd get a skate artist at that point so that'd be a really nice card probably honestly better than Lamar just right behind Vic then for the Chargers, I'm going to go with Justin Herbert. Honestly, like, I know he just got that card. Well, whatever promo that was, like, two, right after the Superstar MVPs, I think. But, yeah, Justin Herbert, he's had a crazy start to his NFL career. He's been balling lately. He's averaging, like, over 300 yards a game. I know Chargers fans would be super hyped for that. Then for the Chiefs, I'm going to go with Travis Kelsey kind of goes without saying i mean he's one of the best tight ends in the league his best cards is 85 base elite i'm guessing they're gonna save hill for scary fast in the mo or the most feared promo so yeah maybe sammy watkins but i'm gonna go with kelsey then for the colts honestly this one is tough to do because the defense is a lockdown best defense in the league right now at least for, uh, through the first few weeks 
but I'm gonna go with Darius Leonard for the Colts. Then the Cowboys, honestly, you could go Gallup here, but I'm gonna say Jalen Smith. He got that card earlier in the year for the rivals, but I don't know. I think he's gonna get it, and I think it's gonna be a really nice card, theme team or not. He's a fast middle linebacker. He's gonna be a really good user. Then for the Dolphins, I'm gonna say Xavier Howard. Could go maybe Ryan Fitzpatrick, Devontae Parker here. But I don't know. I've seen on Twitter a lot of Dolphins fans wanting an Xavier and Howard. So yeah, that, that's going to be my pick. They're already stacked at cornerback, but I mean, one more can't hurt. And then for the Eagles, I got Carson Wentz. Only honestly, just because he only has a gold. But they could go with Zach Ertz or maybe even Darius Slay, honestly. I, I think it's between Slay and uh, Wentz for sure for the Eagles. But then next up with the Falcons, I'm gonna, it's gotta be Kelvin really here. Like he didn't get one with the rising star promo. I think it's hands down gotta be Kelvin Ridley. The defense is horrible. There's no one I could see getting one from the defense. Julio's got a good card. Todd's got a good card. I mean, possibly Matt Ryan, but no, nah, I think I think this promo is 100% gonna be Ridley. If I had to pick any of these predictions to be right, it's that one. Then the 49ers, I got Fred Warner. I think it also could be Brandon Ayuk, Jarek McKinnon, maybe even Raheem Mostert, Mostert, however you say his name. But yeah, no, I'm going to go with Fred Warner for my prediction. He's had a really good year. I think he's only got a gold. So yeah, I'm going to stick to that. Then for the Giants, I'm going to go with Blake Martinez, actually. He's leading the league in tackles right now. And I mean, obviously, that'd be super dope for me. Because like I said, they're all getting power-ups. He was a Packer. We really need a middle linebacker on the Packers. So I'm praying the Giants get Blake Martinez. And I mean, Saquon's hurt, so I don't know if they could even go with him. So yeah, that's my prediction for the Giants. For the Jaguars, I actually had him in my uh, rising star prediction, but I'm going to go with James Robinson here. Rookie running back. He's been balling out this year. Could go with Gardner Minshew, but I don't know. I got a feeling it's going to be James Robinson. I'm guessing he only has like a silver rookie card right now. So it would definitely be a huge upgrade for him. And I'm sure you Jags fans would love that. You know, a lot of you are probably hopping on the hype train right now. The Jets, though, I'm going with Pierre Desir. That's how you say it. He's leading the league in picks for one. And two, I mean, it's the Jets. Sorry if you're a Jets fan, but your team suck. So I really don't know who else they could go with here. He's only got a gold, I think. Or a gold or like a low elite Pierre Desir. But yeah, I think it's going to be him. He's leading the league in picks. He's had a solid year, even though he got mossed by Jerry Judy. Then for the Lions, I'm going to go with TJ Hawkinson here. Another card that he's only got a gold. Had a super solid year. You also could go with like Marvin Jones. And did Marvin Jones still play for y'all? Who knows? Or uh, Kenny Galladay. But then next up for the Packers, I'm going to say Aaron Jones. Or maybe Jair. I predicted him for the Rising Stars promo. He could be here. Definitely, there's a good chance. I'd say between him or Jones, maybe Robert Tunyon, or even Alan Lazard. I would say Zadarius, but I got a good feeling he's going to be in the uh, most feared for the scary strong. So yeah, then for the Panthers, though, I'm going to go with Shaq Thompson. Honestly, I mean, there's a few people you could go with here. You could go with like DJ Moore. But I, I don't know. I've got a feeling it's going to be Shaq Thompson. They gave him the team builder too last year. So, yeah, that's my final prediction for the Panthers. For the Patriots, I'm going to go with Adrian Phillips. Definitely could be Cam. But I, now that Josh Allen's getting this card, I'm guessing he won't get the most feared. So, I got to say, I'm guessing Cam's going to get the most feared. So, yeah, we're going to go with Adrian Phillips here. I mean, it could be like Julian Edelman or something. But, no, I think Adrian Phillips, he's had a really solid year. He's definitely my bet for that. Then next up, we got the Raiders. I'm going to say Jonathan Abram. I would have said Darren Waller, but he just got the LTD. Could also possibly be like Josh Jacobs. Maybe even, no, not him. I was going to say Henry Ruggs, but honestly, I don't even know what he's done this year. So yeah, I'm going to go with Jonathan Abram. Definitely a solid pick right there at strong safety. He would be really nice. He's, I remember last year he got a blitz card. He had really high hit power. So yeah, that'd be a really nice card right there. Then for the Rams, I think it's going to be John Johnson, possibly Micah Kaiser. But I don't know. John Johnson's had a really nice year. He's only got that 80 base elite. 
but I mean a Kaiser would be super dope too depends if they switch his position over to left outside linebacker right now they have him at middle but, I mean yeah either way I'll take an upgrade for either or even a Tyler Higby honestly I'll be happy with anything as long as it's not one of the positions that I'm already stacked at like cornerback running back even wide receiver we don't really need another one I mean I'll take a Cooper Cup but I don't know I'm really hoping it's not but then for the Ravens, I'm going to say Marlon Humphrey. I would have said Hollywood, but you guys just got Willie Sneed with the team stand or with the team builder. Definitely could be Hollywood, though. I'm trying to think who else. Now, honestly, I think it's going to be it's going to be between Marlon Humphrey and Hollywood. I'm going to go with Humphrey, though. He's had a really, really nice year. Definitely deserves an upgrade. He's only got like a low base elite. So, I mean, you guys already got a ton of cornerbacks, though, so I'm sure you wouldn't be too happy with that. But then for the Washington football team, dumbass shit, I'm going to be going with Terry McLaurin for that. Honestly, I don't know who else you could do. I mean, maybe someone on the defense, like a Chase Young, Ryan Kerrigan. But I, Terry McLaurin, man, he's a goon. I love him. And his best cards is 79. Yeah, no, that's, that's, not, that's not cutting it. That's disrespectful. So yeah, I'm going to say Terry McLaurin definitely would help you guys out a wide receiver right there. But then for the Saints, it's already obviously confirmed to be Elvin Kamara. So we're not going to spend too much time on that. For the Seahawks, like I said earlier, confirmed to be DK Metcalf. But then moving on to the Steelers, I got Juju Smith. I think it's got to be one of your wide receivers, either, either him or uh, Deontay Johnson. But I don't know, I'm going to go with Juju here. He's a bigger name. Probably would sell more packs. That's all EA really cares about. So yeah, it's definitely going to be one of the two receivers. Minka and all that already got cards. But I'm going to say it's Juju. Then next up, we got the Texans. And I think it's got to be Deshaun Watson here. Possibly a Zach Cunningham. But I don't know. Deshaun's only got like an 82 right now. I feel like it's, I think it's 100%. It's got to be Deshaun Watson. I know my homie Hoodie would be super hyped about that. So, yeah, he definitely deserves an upgrade. Wouldn't be shocked to see that. For the Titans, I'm going to go with Corey Davis. He's actually had a really nice year, man. And, I mean, Derrick Henry's already got an 87. No, he's got that 88 now with, or 89, whatever, from the team of the week. So, yeah, can't be him. Tannehill, doubt it maybe someone on the defense maybe this is where we could see Clowney, but he hasn't really done much either see i'm gonna go with corey davis and then for the last one the vikings i'm gonna say anthony harris he's only got an 80 he's one of the best safeties in the league and that's coming from a packer fan he's had a really good year so that's definitely gonna be my pick there i mean it could be Thielen or justin jefferson Maybe someone else on the defense. I honestly can't think right now, but I think it's got to be Anthony Harris. He's probably the one that needs the upgrade the most. Cook just got that LTD, obviously. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the video. Let me know down below how you think I did, if there's anyone I missed, anyone you want to see, anything like that. But if you did enjoy, don't forget, leave a like, hit that sub button, drop a comment down below. But that's going to do it. I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one. Peace out.